We live in the era of search. We're searching online all the time, looking everything and everyone up. That fundamental reality is the number one reason why you should have a video profile of yourself. You need to make sure a video story you own shows up when someone searches for you online. Okay, there you have it. You can stop watching this video now and immediately message me so we can get started telling your story. I haven't convinced you yet? Well, stick around. I promise to make this easy to understand as possible. You should also read the companion blog post. Google, my friends, is the number one reason you need a video profile story. If you do an online search for a person, you're likely to get their LinkedIn profile or a written profile on a company website. I expect you may get a hodgepodge of photos or other stuff, including potentially a video. You might also get a blog post or a newspaper article. Try it. I urge you to Google yourself right now. Before writing this post, I Googled myself. The first thing that popped up was my professional bio that I wrote that's on the StorySmart website, and then my LinkedIn profile. I was frankly pleasantly surprised and very pleased. That's the point of the exercise of having a professional bio online, to show up in search, and to push down clutter that might not be what you want people to see first about you. We live in the era of search. We Google everything and everyone. If I'm meeting somebody for coffee or lunch and we've never met in person before, I'll Google them. So I'll have a clue about who I'm looking for. And admit it, you do the same thing too. I can see it, like, you know, I see it on my LinkedIn profile. Like before I meet with somebody, it's like somebody looked at my profile. Okay, great. Uh, it's just, it's the natural thing that we do, right? The biggest surprise in my search of myself was that my Cardinals professional bio that I wrote years ago is still active. I left the team nearly four years ago, so I'm surprised that it's still up on their site. In a way, I'm a bit proud also because I was a big advocate for having all of the team's executives and employees' bios online for this very purpose, because of search. The other big surprise when I Googled myself Evidently, there's a mixed martial artist named Ron Waterman. Uh, Waterman, spelled with, the, with an A. Who knew? Uh, don't pick a fight with me about this post. I'll send my alter ego your way. Okay, before we go any further, I'll admit that I'm a bit of a hypocrite on this topic. I'm missing a video bio. I don't have one. I should, but I don't. At some point, I will hire one of our reporters, one of our Story Smart reporters, to tell my story. But for now, our focus is on helping others. As the founder of a startup, I'm pinching pennies and spending on other things. I promise to get to mine at some point, but every dollar that I have goes into other priorities with my business. Do as I say, not as I do, as my mom used to tell me. I can live with you reading about me rather than seeing me on screen. The bottom line is you must put out a professional bio online. If you get no other message from this uh, uh, video, that should be it. Have a professional bio online. Even if it's just words like I've done. The top search result was the bio I wrote about myself. The second was my LinkedIn profile that I wrote. So that's, that's a good thing, right? That's what you want to have happen. The point is that you should own your own narrative. You should have a say in what people see when they Google you. I decided to check to see what shows up when I search some of the clients we've helped with producing a professional profile video. I was very pleased with what I found. Each of these clients received a professional video profile that runs between two and a half minutes and five minutes, as well as a written blog post of at least 350 words. Our general routine is to provide the story to the client, as well as post it on our companion website that's the placeholder until we launch our OTT app. Now, here is why you should consider having a professional video profile. When you Google our client, Dr. Arturo Taka Jr., you'll see the video and blog post we did for him as one of the top results. 
The same thing is true with Patricia Kennedy of Insynergy. The top result for Hannah Byers of Insynergy was our video bio that we just posted this weekend. In Synergy, counselor Rick Flanagan's video is also front page. Google Greg Sofer of Hush Blackwell, you guessed it, top result, his professional bio on their website, and our video was front page. Google and search in general are one of the reasons we encourage our professional clients to create an online bio and include a video profile. When I was with the Cardinals, I was almost a broken record with our executive team about allowing us to help them write a bio to put on the website. I knew reporters and the public would be searching for them online. I wanted to ensure that they and we as an organization had a role in what showed up online. I'd like to tell you that I ended up batting a thousand convincing everyone to do a bio, but alas, I'll have to settle for Hall of Fame numbers. If you go to the Cardinals website and navigate to the front office button in the roster drop down on the main page, you'll see who has bios. In order to control your narrative and define your personal brand, you must invest in telling your story. The basic approach is a written biography. At a minimum, you should post a written biography on your website. It's also a good practice to post and tag photos. But the best approach? is a video profile. Google is the number one reason you should have a video profile. Ultimately, the choice is yours. Let me know when you're ready to get story smart and own your own professionally produced on-screen story. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy this blog post.